Hi, let's discuss on the product rule of differential equations. So let's say d by dx of a function 1 into a function 2. So this can be given as function 1 written first then into the differentiation that is d by dx or dx of function 2 plus function 2 just written like that into d by dx of the differentiation of function 1 with three functions d by dx of 1 into 2 into 3 this can be given as the differentiation of the first function into second into third plus first function will write like that then the differentiation of the second function d by dx of the second function into third function plus first function into second one into the differentiation of the third one so this is the product rule now let's look at the examples of this product rule then example number one y is equal to x square into log x let's this be the first one and this be the second function so by using product rule differentiate differentiating both sides with respect to x dy by dx will be equal to first function is x square the second one will be log x so the first one into the differentiation of the second one plus the second one is log x into the differentiation of the first function will be d by dx of x square so x square into log x d by dx of log x is 1 by x so 1 by x plus log x into d by dx of x square is 2x so which is equal to this gets cancelled and becomes x plus 2x log x or d by dy by dx will be equal to x taking in common b1 plus 2 log x uh, let's see some more examples y is equal to x plus 5 into 3x square plus 7x plus 9 so the first function will be x plus 5 in the second function is because there is multiplication so this is will be equal to 3x square plus 7x plus 9 so we can use a product rule here now differentiating both sides with respect to x gives dy by dx will be equal to first function into differentiation of the second function plus second function into differentiation of the first function is x plus 5 this is equal to x plus 5 into you know, differentiating the this term 3x square will be 3 into 2x which will be 6x plus 7 plus 0 plus 3x square plus 7x plus 9 into d by dx by x will be 1 plus constant will be d by dx of 5 will be 0 which is equal to x plus 5 into 6x plus 7 plus 3x square plus 7x plus 9 which will be cross multiplying multiplying 6x square plus 7x plus 30x plus 35 plus this term 3x square plus 7x 
प्लस नाइन सो हैडिंग ऑल द लाइक टर्म्स विल बी नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टी फोर एक्स प्लस फोर्टी फोर डी वाई बाई डी एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू नाइन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टी फोर एक्स प्लस फोर्टी फोर सो दिस इज दी वे मैदर वी विल वी कैन डू बाई यूजिंग द प्रोडक्ट रूल नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल प्रॉब्लम विल सी प्रॉब्लम थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव कॉट एक्स प्लस सी कैंड एक्स टेन एक्स प्लस फोर ट्वेंटी डॉ डिफरेंशिएटिंग बोथ साइड्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स विल बी डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ फाइव कॉट एक्स प्लस डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ सी कैंड एक्स टेन एक्स प्लस डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ फोर ट्वेंटी दिस विल बी डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ कॉट एक्स विल बी कोसी कैन स्क्वायर एक्स सो माइनस फाइव माइनस कोसी कैन स्क्वायर एक्स सो माइनस फाइव कोसी कैन स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस दिस इज कैन बी डन बाई प्रोडक्ट रूल दिस इज फर्स्ट टर्म दिस इज द सेकेंड फंक्शन सो सी कैन टेक्स into d by dx of tan x will be secant squared x plus second term into differentiation of the sec first term so d by dx of secant x will be secant x tan x plus differentiation of the constant will be zero so c equal to minus phi cosecant square x Plus secant cube x plus tan square x secant x. So d by d x is finally y minus y cosecant square x plus secant cube x plus tan square x to secant x. Next problem. y is equal to x into sin x to e power x. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, dy by dx is equal to d by dx of. We have to use the product rule, being the first term being x. The second term being sine x, the third term is e power x. Differentiation of the first term into second term into third term plus first term into differentiation of the second term into third term plus first term into second term into differentiation of the third term. This is equal to. Mm, d by dx of x is one, so this will be sine x e power x plus x into d by dx of sine x is minus cos. Sorry, it's just cos x into e power x plus x into sine x into d by dx of e power x x is e power x. So here mm, x e bar x can be taken in common. No, only e bar x can be taken in common. So e bar x into sine x plus x cos x plus x sine x. This is the dy by dx term.